Scientists from the South African Environmental Observation Network have warned that little is known about the long-term impact of rock aquifer drilling on the underground water table in Cape Town. Well, they say an increased dependence on groundwater systems could cause greater vulnerability to drought in the future. Well, drilling for groundwater is underway in Cape Town following the worst drought in living memory in the Western Cape. Drilling into aquifers or underground water started in earnest last year. The Table Mountain Group Aquifer is scattered over a wide area and was formed millions of years ago. It's a unique but very complex natural system and is thought to be a reliable source of water. But experts warn that very little is known about the long-term effects of extraction. These fractured rock aquifers draw down in funny ways because the water moves preferentially along fault lines and those link to systems that could be kilometers away from the well field and so we could be losing important biodiversity there but we're also losing recharge and base flow to our rivers and wetlands that feed our dams um, so, so it could have significant impacts on biodiversity but also on, on societal needs in terms of water, water delivery. Slingsby says drilling into sand aquifers, like on the Cape Flats, have been studied and could actually be beneficial to the environment. But he says too little is known about the impact on rock aquifers, as a research program started a decade ago never went into the exploratory phase. They should definitely slow down. Um, I think they've probably put out enough boreholes now for us to really start studying the system and what the impacts might be. Um, so if they just consolidate and leave it there for now before drilling holes everywhere. The city of Cape Town says, among others, its drilling program is based on years of research and that it's committed to erring on the side of caution. It says it's working closely with experts in the field throughout a phased approach is used and short, medium and long-term management strategies will be employed. Slingsby urges that greater efforts should be put into removing alien invasive species like pine trees from catchment systems, resulting in a loss of 10% of water annually. Mariska Boerta, SABC News, Cape Town.